From The Simpsons to The Sopranos, representations of Orthodox Jewish communities in film and television have until recently been mostly stereotypical. But the 2010s saw a dramatic uptick of Orthodox Jewish, specifically Haredi TV shows, with even more currently in development after the success of shows like Shtetl and Unorthodox. Shows like these attempt to authentically portray what life is like for these insular communities. So get the popcorn ready or maybe a bowl of cholent, because here are some of the best TV and movie picks about the Haredi community that are totally binge-worthy. Set deep within the Haredi community of Jerusalem, Shtisl is a family drama centered around the relationship between father-son duo Shulam and Akiva Shtisl. Haredi, if you don't know, is another term for ultra-Orthodox Jews and is actually the preferred term. While the majority of dialogue in Shtisl is in Hebrew, as it was originally made for an Israeli audience, multiple scenes in almost every episode take place completely in Yiddish. <laughs> The lead actors actually took three months of Yiddish to prepare for their roles. Even while speaking Hebrew, you hear Yiddish words and sayings peppered into the conversation. This is true to how most Ashkenazi Haredim speak. The creators of Shtetl actually grew up in a Haredi community and wanted to portray it both authentically and empathetically. And it does a fairly great job at both, though some critics believe Shtetl inaccurately conflates all Orthodox Jews with Haredim and makes them seem more insular than they actually are. Nevertheless, Shtisl has opened many people's eyes to this way of life. The creators came up with the idea for the series while sitting in an Ashkenazi-style restaurant in Jerusalem bearing the same name. It's no wonder, because food plays a central role in the show. We see them nosh on Ashkenazi cuisine like Cholent and Kugel. <laughs> Through these dishes, we get to experience what a slice of life is like for them. <laughs> That's our guy Kive. Through his many missteps in dating, we get an insider glimpse of the shidduch process. Shidduchs are arranged meetings between men and women in Haredi communities for the purpose of finding a match for marriage. Batya, Ken? Ken. Akiva. Yeah. We see the ins and outs of this process and the importance of the shadchan, or matchmaker, within the community. Through shidduchs and weddings, brises and shivas, Shtisl gives us an intimate look into the major life events of this Haredi community. Judaism is a genuine part of their lives that offers them community, guidance, and purpose. This brings us to Unorthodox. Unorthodox is specifically about the Sotmer community in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and stars Shira Haas, aka Golden Globe-nominated actress Shira Haas. Similarly to Shtisl, some may perceive the show as representing all Orthodox Jews, but it's important to remember that Sotmer is just one part of the Hasidic community, which is itself just one part of the Haredi community, which is a part of Orthodox Judaism, which comes in all different shapes and sizes. Founded in Romania in 1905, the Sotmer movement made its way to America after the Holocaust, establishing a community in Williamsburg. Today, there are about 75,000 Satmar members. The series is based on a memoir by Deborah Feldman, a former member of the community who left in her 20s. Unlike Shtisl, the show often portrays Orthodox Judaism as an oppressive force and one that the protagonist must leave in order to live freely. Even still, this show offers glimpses into Jewish customs that don't typically get the spotlight, like the Eruv. <laughs> According to Jewish law, carrying objects outside of one's house on Shabbat, like keys or even pushing a stroller, is prohibited. So, observant Jewish communities often put up an eruv, a symbolic boundary usually made up of wires, around their neighborhood to technically extend their home's boundary. Many areas of New York, including Brooklyn, Queens, and most of Manhattan, are surrounded by an eruv that many folks pass by without ever noticing. This show definitely helped to spark conversations. When it comes to better understanding the Eruv and these communities, there is so much more to say. And if you're interested in learning more about these types of subjects, take a second and hit subscribe. Next on our list is Fill the Void, which takes us back to the Haredi community of Israel. Helmed by filmmaker Rama Borstein, who is herself part of this community, the film offers intimate access into the private lives of Haredi women. For instance, the wedding ceremony. Here we see the lead character, Shira, praying from her sidur as she prepares to marry. And that's her aunt, asking Shira for a blessing. In Judaism, the wedding day is seen as a mini Yom Kippur for the bride and groom that's all about starting newlywed life with a clean slate. 
Because the bride and groom are thought to have extra spiritual powers on their wedding day, they offer blessings of good fortune to those around them. This isn't an extensive list, but it's more attention than the ultra-Orthodox world has ever received before in popular culture. And it's only the beginning. We may be on the brink of the golden age of Haredi film and television. Israel's Autonomies, a miniseries by the creators of Shtisl, deals with Haredi versus secular tensions and is rumored to be getting an American remake. And Marta Kaufman, the creator of Friends, is set to executive produce the American version of Shtisl, which, like Unorthodox, will take place in Brooklyn. And Haredi content doesn't just have to be dramatic. The Awakening of Moti Wolkenbruch, a film about a Haredi man falling in love with a non-Jewish girl at his university, is a romantic comedy. My name is Mordechai Wolkenbruch, Kurtz Moti. And that's here. In the past, Orthodox Jews were usually represented as caricatures. Now, we have the opportunity to see them on screen as nuanced, relatable people. Shows like Shtisel even act as a bridge between the polarized Haredi community and the non-Haredi community of Israel. That's because filmmaking has a way of connecting us, even when we share different perspectives and ways of life. So sit back, relax, preferably with a glass of Manischewitz, and enjoy the show.